and welcome to story time. My name is Liz and as always it's lovely to have you with me. Wherever you are in a big wide round world I hope you are feeling good. Today we're going to be reading this story. <laughs> Who can we see on the front cover? Oh we're going about a bit today. Yes, that's right, there's lots of children on the front cover. And they look very dressed up, don't they? Well, the clue, as always, is in the title, and the title's at the top of the front cover. And here it is, it's The Nativity Play. Ah, now nativity plays are performed every year in December as we get ready for the festival of Christmas. And it retells the story of how baby Jesus was born. Now for lots of us, the nativity play might look a little different this year, but I wonder, have you ever taken part in a nativity play? Oh, really? How interesting. Mm. I have taken part in a nativity play a long, 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 long time ago, I must admit, and I was one of the angels, so I was wearing a very similar costume to these characters here, the white little dress with the wings and the halo. Although I don't remember playing a recorder, but maybe you did. So let's find out what happens in this story, the nativity play. And oh, I nearly forgot, the authors and illustrator is Nick Butterworth. I think he's the author and Mick Penn is the illustrator. And the illustrations are fabulous in this book. And we've read some books by them already. Okay, let's find out what happens in the nativity play. Tracy and Sam are in their school nativity play. Their mum is helping with the costumes. Tracy is one of the angels. She feels beautiful in her golden halo. She wants a magic wand, but mum says that angels don't have magic wands. Sam is a shepherd. With enough stripy towels, he looks just like the real thing. Mum is having trouble with his beard. It's made of wool and sellotape, but it won't stay on. Sam is practising his words. The saviour of the world is born. The saviour of the world is born. He keeps saying to himself. Don't worry, says Mum. He'll be all right on the night. At last, everything is ready. The audience are in their seats. Mum and Dad are sitting on the front row with Mrs Boo from next door. Backstage, everyone is feeling nervous. Now, says Mrs Harvey, nice and loud, everyone and shepherds don't stand in front of Mary. The curtain opens. In the days of Caesar Augustus, slow down a bit, Kate, whispers Mrs Harvey. Joseph the carpenter and his wife Mary went up to Bethlehem. Look, there they are. And Mary is riding on a, that's right, a donkey. Joseph looks for somewhere to stay. No room, says the first innkeeper. Full up, says the second innkeeper. Too late, says the third innkeeper. But I'm worried about my wife. She is having a baby, says Joseph with a grin. The third innkeeper has an idea. I have a stable you can use, he says. So Mary's baby Jesus was born in a stable. The animals gather round the baby and they begin to sing. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. Sing up, says Mrs Harvey. Oh, here come the shepherds. But where's Sam? Ah, it's all right. He's just gone to the toilet. Tracy, the beautiful angel, stands in front of them. 
Fear not, she shouts. I bring you tidings of great joy. She tells the shepherds all about baby Jesus. The other angels play their recorders. Come, let us all go over to Bethlehem, say the shepherds. They gather round to look at the baby. One of the shepherds is looking at the audience and he waves, Hello, Dad. <laughs> now, here comes Sam's big moment. He walks to the front. His voice is clear and loud. The saviour of the world is born, he tells the audience. Oh, lovely, says Mrs Booth. There is a noise at the back of the hall. Wise men are coming from the east, but the door won't open. One of the dads lets them in. Slowly, they walk up to the stage. The wise men look serious. Their camel is having trouble climbing the stairs. Where is he who is born to be king? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him, says one of the wise men. And they have their bath salts. Joseph points and the wise men lay their gifts by the manger. Gold I give to the infant king. Frankincense, the gift I bring. Myrrh is mine, so let us sing. O joyful Christmas praises ring. So Joseph and Mary, the innkeepers, the shepherds, the angels, the wise men, the camel, the donkey, the sheep and the cow all sing together. Join in everyone, says Mrs Harvey. Mr Bryant, the caretaker, switches on the overhead projector and up comes the words. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy, my old God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With the angelic host proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Oh, we've come to the end of the nativity play. Oh, what a lovely way to end the story by singing on a Christmas carol. Well, maybe we can practice some more on our Christmas carols. I think I'm a bit rusty. I need to practice a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to go and do. I do hope you get to do your nativity play, whatever shape or form it takes. Maybe mums and dads maybe won't be able to come to see you, but they might be able to come and see you via the Power or Zoom or other other digital platforms are available. <laughs> Let me know whatever way you do it. And until we meet again, remember, stay safe, look after one another and always keep smiling. Bye for now.